Hi everybody, I'm Miss Stephanie and this is Just for Kids. Have you ever had the pleasure of learning how to use this tool? When you're a kid, a plunger is one of those things that you always want to get your hands on. It's fun because you can stick it to a wall and make it hang out into the air. But anytime mom would catch you with it, she freaks out and makes you wash your hands really well. Why? Well, because plungers are a dirty tool for a dirty job. When the toilet gets stopped up and the water starts rising, you need something to unblock the clog. Flushing won't help because it only makes matters worse by adding more water to the bowl. And if you wait too long, that water backs up and overflows onto the floor. That's why you keep the plunger right there near the toilet. When the water starts to rise, it takes a plunger to open the clog and flush the mess away. The plunger is a useful reminder of another dirty tool the cross. The cross was a tool used to execute the worst of criminals. It was a terrible, filthy way to die, full of dirt and splinters and blood. And yet the cross was the way that God could unclog the mess in our lives known as sin. Like a dirty toilet, sin can overflow in our lives and no amount of work on our part can undo the mess. There's only one way to get rid of the mess, actually. We need the cross to break the clog and wash us clean. We need to believe in Jesus that he died for us. Yes, it's a dirty tool in it's a gross and dirty analogy. The real cross was not shiny and gold like the one we have here. God chose the cross to do a dirty, filthy job to wash us white as snow. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we are sorry that we sinned and needed Jesus to die on the cross, but we are so thankful, Lord, that he did so that we can be forgiven. And all God's children said, Amen. I'll see you next time on Just for Kids. High five, big hug, and a kiss. If you appreciated this video and would like to see more great content, please like and subscribe to all of our Oakhurst UMC channels. Also, sharing is caring.